Yeah, yeah. Did you, I'm Shamal, it's Fox 4. Did you, were you near the area when it happened? We were at Wingbus and we saw the whole thing. You saw what whole thing? Him walk past and start shooting at the Oh, post. you did? Oh my gosh. Do you mind if I take you live on Fox News? Fox 4, did you, were you near the area when it happened? We were at Wingbus and we saw the whole thing. You saw what whole thing? Him walk past and start shooting at the Oh, post. you did? Oh my gosh. Do you mind if I take you live on Fox News? Fox 4, did you, were you near the area when it happened? We were at Wingbus and we saw the whole thing. You saw what whole thing? Him walk past and start shooting at the Oh, you did? Oh my gosh. Do you mind if I take you live on Fox News? What? It's, it's, just very, it's just your perspective. I promise you it'll be very easy. I'll walk you through it. Yeah. We have uh, a, a call. Are you a couple? Are you, no? Okay. No. Okay. No? All right. He's just with me. All right. I have somebody who has seen it. Come here with me. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Uh, miss, what's your name? I'm nervous as hell. I'm what? not going to lie to you. My name is Giovanni Thibodeau. Uh, what is it? Giovanni Thibodeau. Giovanni? Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, and Giovanni, you said you saw the shooting happen? Yes. He was at this light. Waited till the protesters got done walking past okay. and start shooting at the protesters. What is it? Giovanni Thibodeau. Giovanni? Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, and Giovanni, you said you saw the shooting happen? Yes. He was at this light, waited till the protesters got done walking past, okay. and start shooting at the protesters. Okay, so I'm going to talk to you about that. Just keep in mind we're live, no profanity. Okay? okay? Giovanni, right? Yes. Okay. Oh okay, um, are you ready, Josiah? Okay, spell your name slowly for my producer. J-Y-V-A-N-N-I. And, and say it? Giovanni. And the last name, Giovanni. Thibodeau. T-H-I-B-O-D-E-A-U-X. Did you get that? <laughs> Okay, thank you. Giovanni, just stay with me a minute, okay? We're, we have another reporter that's on. Thank you for speaking with us. I appreciate it. You said, were you marching? No, I was at Wing Bucket right here. You were at Wing Bucket, okay. Sitting outside. You're what? Sitting outside. Okay. Do you have enough light here? Yeah, we're fine. Scary situation. Crazy. It all seemed it was going so smooth, you know. So many shots. Okay, we're gonna be walking. Okay. 
Hopefully. It'll just be a couple minutes, Yvonne. You're hanging out here, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. Our car is up there, so, oh, so you can't, can't go anywhere. <laughs> The rally was great. And then next thing you know, the man just walks by. He walks by, you know, looking normal, but he let the rally go by. And that's when the mayhem started. And then that's when he just started shooting. Cops was running. You know, I'm down by the trash can. I'm trying to, you know, not to get hit. But then still looking at the same time, it was, it, it was just crazy. It's like, you know, when we come together on something like this, it's, it's, it's sad that this has to happen. Where? Uh, DeSoto. DeSoto. Yeah. We were just out here to get Gosh, and you were here all day. It was so peaceful. Jeez. Oh, it's like to Yeah. You see me on Facebook, I'm just having a beer. Alex with Fox News. Can we talk for a second? Yeah. Okay, buddy. Um, it'll be live, so just please go first, okay? Okay. And uh, tell me your name. Andrea Thompson. Hey, um, Josiah. Andrea. I know, I'm, I'm not my producer. I'm talking, <laughs> giving him your name. <laughs> I have another person who I'm going to be speaking with as well. It's Andrea Thompson, correct? Thompson with an H? Yes. Okay, Andrea Thompson, Thompson with an H. And I'll have them uh, side by side here. Is this going to be fine? All right, thank you, ladies, for sticking around. It's a breeze, at least. Make sure you tell them the truth. Make sure you tell them the whole truth. Ain't enough for the truth. Oh, that we got to the corner, and the man fired the first shot. Three seconds passed. The second shot goes down. Officer goes down. They turn the guns towards us. We had to break and run. They would turn fire towards the unknown shooter and think that the protesters was the ones who had shot the cops. Tell the whole truth. We need to be on camera. Damn. Let me not cut. Don't shoot! Don't shoot! Don't shoot! Don't shoot!
Make sure you tell them the truth. Make sure you tell them the whole truth. All right, folks, I'm going to jump in here for just a little bit. We are getting another breaking news report, and this is a really hard one to say. Uh, Fox 4 News is reporting from multiple sources saying that about three to six officers have been shot during tonight's protests. So once again, this is uh, Fox 4 News reporting that multiple sources are saying that three to six officers have been shot during tonight's protest. This is uh, just an unfortunate situation. Oh boy, we, we, we all know an officer. We all, some have friends, some have family members, some have loved ones that are police officers. And uh, you, this, when you hear news about this, this absolutely just breaks your heart. I mean, this is, this is the world that we're living in now where, where there has to be a protest at every time there's, there's a situation and now we're having gravely injured officers. Folks, I'm in a loss for words right now on the Fox 10 News Now stream. It's so hard for me to, to be up here. I have uh, cousins that are police officers in Chicago. That's where I'm from. And when I hear news like this, this is just breaks my heart that I have to come on here and, and, and say this and report this for you guys. And wow, this is deep. This is deep. This is. Um, this is news that I didn't want to be talking about today. And once again, Fox 4 News reporting that multiple, multiple sources are saying that three to six officers have been shot during tonight's protest in Dallas, Texas. When will this madness stop? Folks, if you want to tweet along with me today, uh, tweet, tweet me at Mike Page, Fox 10. It's uh, it's a hard day to talk about. It's a hard news story here. It's unfortunate that this is the world now that we live in, where a police officer cannot feel safe anymore on the streets patrolling and protecting people, citizens of a town. Wow.
I'm about to, I'm trying to get married, I'm about to go. Yeah. I'm in love with the camera like this. Yeah. At what? Sure, sure. Right now I'm joined by Andrea, Andrea Thomas, and ma'am, tell me your name again. Giovanni Tipper. Okay, so ladies, you said you were nearby when all the commotion happened. Uh, take me back to what you uh, recall. Um, we were at the wing bucket here and ordering food, and then all of a sudden we heard shots. And we were outside, and just just a rapid fire. I just remember hearing rapid fire, and then I was seeing all the commotion going on at the, at the light here. And uh, police officers police. running back towards the wing bucket. Say that again. Police officers running towards back the wing bucket. Describe for me what you thought. You know, a, a lot of, of pop, pop, pops. We heard it as well. It had to be like 40, 50 shots. 40. They kept going and going and yeah. going. And what was your initial thought? Did you think it was gunshots? Yeah, yeah, I, I know it, it goes gunshots. gunshots. I, yeah, I knew it was gunshots, but I just remember thinking I'm watching the protesters walk down the street, and then all of a sudden it's just rapid fire. You know, I'm thinking, oh my gosh, did somebody get hurt? You know, like what's going on? This was a peaceful protest. You know, like what is going on? It, it really scared me because I'm a frequent. I frequent this downtown area every day. You know, and it, it just it's really scary to know that, you know, when there's something peaceful going on and then all of a sudden just all chaos breaks out and it's just scary. Well, you had said that your your car is down there. Uh, literally past this light right here. You know, what do you think when you hear right now, you know, the, the officers who are injured, uh, the situation that we're dealing with right now, seeing chaos in the city? It's just sad because none of this chaos is happening in Dallas. Everything's somewhere else. It's elsewhere and they're bringing it here. The it, anger, it's everything erupting in the streets. Yeah. It's inevitable. Absolutely. Andrea, for yourself, watching uh, what's happening right now in downtown Dallas at this very moment, what are your thoughts? I, I'm just, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm scared, because like I said, it was the peaceful protest that I've been, you know, watching throughout the whole time here, and it, it's unfortunate, it's really unfortunate, and I'm just sorry for the officers who got hurt, I'm sorry for the protesters who were, you know, you know, scared and things like that, having to get down on the ground, and because, you know, the all chaos is just, just out of control here, so it's just really unfortunate, a uh, series of events, you know, that happened. Well, ladies, thank you so much uh, for your time. We are glad you're safe. Uh, we want to give you a, a quick live look at the situation right now. We're here at the corner of uh, a Murphy Street and Main Street police tape right now, uh, keeping us even further and further back. There are just layers upon layers of uh, police vehicles here and police officers lining the streets here. Uh, trying to keep the public uh, at bay so that uh, uh, negotiators and uh, officers who are at the actual scene can do their job. But a lot of curious people out here, as you can imagine, hearing that succession of gunfire echoing through downtown Dallas. And then if we take a, a live look here, just panning over, just really seeing the amount of people uh, who have come down here who weren't necessarily part of the rally or march, but who have come down here now as a result of of either hearing all the gunshots, those rapid gunshots, as you heard Andrea say, she thought at least 40 gunshots. We definitely heard several dozen gunshots echo through the tall buildings of downtown Dallas. A lot of people now obviously coming to check this out for themselves. And uh, we are going to continue to monitor this very fluid situation from out here as well. Back to you guys. The rally was great. And then next thing you know, the man just walks by. He walks by, you know, looking normal, but he let the rally go by. And that's when the mayhem started. And then that's when he just started shooting. Cops was running. You know, I'm down by the trash can. I'm trying to, you know, not to get hit. But then still looking at the same time, it was, it was just crazy. It's like, you know, when we come together on something like this, it's, it's, it's sad that this has to happen. I'm scared, actually, because I see these men with big guns and everything telling me to move, run. And this is supposed to be a peaceful protest with no guns, and I'm seeing guns already.